Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the Disney 100 Anna and Elsa Frozen 2 pack. This was a little birthday present to myself. I got two of these sets for $30 on Amazon. They originally retailed for $100 but Amazon had a little clearance sale for about a week where they were severely reduced to $30. So I managed to pick up two of them, which is great because I really wanted these dolls. I was a bit skeptical, however, and it mainly was an issue with Anna and her dress. The stock photos for the, Anna's dress looked really bad. Like the paper, it looked papery. It didn't look quality enough for $100. But anyway, we can look at the the box and what details it has on it this is the back of the box and it says disney frozen anna and elsa celebrate disney 100 years of wonder with this collector edition set that captures anna and elsa in sparkling detail elsa doll enchants in an icy blue satin gown and glittering chiffon cape while anna doll shines in her satin and metallic woven dress with a velvety cape and fur trimmed hat. Together, these dolls celebrate the magic of sisterhood. And then it says that again in a couple of languages. And then on the bottom left, it has the Mattel logo. And it says two dolls and two stands. And it was made in Indonesia. And then on the right, we have the Disney 100 logo. It is now 2024 and it is no longer Disney's 100 year. Here we have the front of the box, which just says Disney Frozen, and has two icicles. And on the top left, it says Disney Collector, and kind of like a translucent print, kind of giving off a little rainbowy shimmer to the logos. And then the top of the box has more snowflakes, side has more snowflakes, and then the back of the box. If you do take the dolls out, you can use this as a display i guess that's what i was gonna do if i didn't buy two of them one to keep in box and one to take out and then here on the bottom we just have legal stuff and product information and here is the barcode i highly doubt these are going to show up in stores these were only being sold on amazon that i know of but if you want to like check you can check so now i'm going to open them up and they have a little pull tab at the bottom to get this clear um, casing off of it. And it's kind of wobbly, makes a weird noise when you jiggle it. And here are the two dolls with a little icicle -y background in the back. I'm gonna feel Anna's dress and get confirmation. Yeah, it's papery, it's really bad. Um, the detailing is bad too it's just printed on it sounds really crunchy elsa's much better though it's not as papery but anna is just crunching i took them out of the box and i wanted to show what was actually underneath anna's dress and it was like a paper bag thing which i don't know why they put that in there at all but that was the root cause of the crunchingness texture and sound. Here we have the stand that I have never seen before. It is a variation of a saddle stand and it is meant to hold the, the thighs or the end of the waist as well as the, the legs together, uh, which is really interesting. I'm not sure why a regular saddle stand wouldn't have just worked but I'll show you what it looks like. Here is Anna on the saddle stand, and as you can see, it grips her thighs, and she's able to stand, I guess, better, but you aren't able to pose her as well, which is a downside. And I took the paper sleeve out from under her, and the sound is definitely a little bit better. Here is Anna without her pieces. And you can see all the articulation she has. She has shoulder, elbow, 
and wrist articulation. She has thigh articulation, knee articulation, no foot or chest articulation, which is okay. I'm, I don't mind. Um, although chest articulation is always nice. Um, she has her ponytail with two little rubber bands keeping it in place, and it is like gelled together to give it that end look. Um, I'm gonna wash her hair eventually so she doesn't have that texture, but here is the dress that we've seen and hate. Um, here's her cape. Um, I guess they said it was velvet on the back of the box. Um, the underside texture is a little weird, but the outer texture is really soft and silky. Um, she, here she has little buttons that are Velcro on together so she can keep the cape around her neck. Um, it's really small, the cape, but she also has a hat, which I thought was attached to her head, but you can actually rip it off. And then her top. There's not much to say about it. It is just one piece. Um, I thought the black and the blue would be separate pieces, but they are not. And that's fine. She's got a little design on the front from the movie. She's got mittens or gloves. I know this is a winter outfit. I think they are mittens um, to keep her warm from that one scene with the, the store shop guy and then she has shoes i think these are like really bad molds they're not exciting like at all i don't know if they're like exact replicas of the ones in the movie but they are something and they have the folded molded fur on the top of them which is always kind of iffy and then here's another glance at the saddle stand and how it's unable to like move her and she's floating here is elsa without her clothes and she here she has little snowflakes clipped into her hair her braid i guess and i will take them out once i try to wash her hair but they are cute little accessories since she doesn't come with a lot uh, these are some shoes. I do not know if these are movie accurate. I will check and maybe post a comparison picture at the end, or in in this scene here. And But they are cute. They're really icy. They remind me of Monster High or Ever After High shoes. Um, and here is her outfit, which is one piece. I thought the cape would be separate, but it is not. It is very long, very wide, and that is really great. I absolutely love it. Like, it is... You can extend this thing really far. And it just adds to, like, her silhouette, I guess. And it's definitely giving a Let It Go Elsa. And then she has a couple slits and layers on the main dress piece. The arm pieces are like fishnet, light blue, kind of icy. And then she's got a little snowflake patterning on that. And then here is both of them without their braids. Um, I'm going to wash them. This is unwashed at the moment. And then I'm going to wash her, both, both of them. Elsa is not giving her Frozen 2 look, though. Here they are post-wash and back in braided hair. The little ends of the braids are a little loose and kind of messy. I might brush those out and get them a little um, straighter. But yeah, I'm going to put them back in their outfits. Here they are in their final outfit. And they're both looking really great. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my Monster Fest Frankie Stein review. Also join the Discord link in the description.